Hi guys, I wanted to wish you guys a great Dia de los Niños. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today we're going to be doing a read aloud of one of my favorite books from one of my favorite authors and illustrators, The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson and Rafael Lopez. I had the good um, fortune to listen to Jacqueline Woodson read at the LA Festival of Books either last year or two years ago. And I got to meet Rafael Lopez just a few months ago when he was illustrating a book for Sonia Sotomayor, the Supreme Court Justice. First Latina Supreme Court Justice. So beautiful, beautiful story. For Sia, Neil, and Josie from Jacqueline Woodson. For Santiago, Moon Whisperer from Rafael Lopez. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. I know that's happened to me sometimes. Excuse my puppies, they're behind me playing. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. Some people look curious, some people look friendly. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. How beautiful Venezuela must be. Rigoberto from Venezuela. Your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Shayla says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. So they, there they are with their souvenirs. And she's just looking. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved, waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister, who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room, when no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other kids are flying and sailing and, and going somewhere? There she is in her own apartment. But she's got a book. Books can take you places. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or unfamiliar to others to love as you do. Everyone's looking at her with her lunch over there. Look how beautifully it's packed in that beautiful lunchbox. When even your own friend Nadia will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. And you'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. Which is true. Every culture has some form of rice in it. There'll be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Hmm. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of.
and all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. Look at the world coming out of that book in the reflection. Because like I said before, books can take you places. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Look at that. Looks like That looks like the Taj Mahal. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once in a room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. So see, you thought you had nothing in common with these people, but you do. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books and your trouble and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Because how boring would the world be if everyone were exactly the same? It's nice that we're all just a little bit different. And look, looks like She's made some friends. So, I hope you enjoyed The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And if you get a chance, make sure you pick up some books by her because she is amazing. And he's also written and illustrated other books with fantastic illustrations. But I want you to know how much we're thinking of you at this time, especially on Dia de los Niños. And I hope you have a great, great day.